All right, guys, real quick, 2011 Chevy Avalanche. Let me see, how do I, I wanna show you the mileage on this truck just so you have an idea. 168556, came in for a check engine light, but I cleared the codes because it had a mass airflow code and the customer had a new mass airflow, so he asked me to clear it. Uh, but on this one, it also had a P0521, which is for the oil pressure switch. Uh, and if you look at the oil pressure, it's right below, I would say, what, 20? And if I rev it, it goes up a little bit, tries to go up. Uh, if you have one of these trucks, or if you've seen one of these trucks, you know that the oil pressure usually rides around somewhere around 40, maybe a little bit higher, but this one's stuck right below 20. And um, this one might make for a quick video because you know these oil pressure switches are very common on these trucks. This is a 2011 with a 5.3 liter engine. So what I wanna show you is right here on the scanner, I'm gonna go into the data and I wanna see what the oil pressure looks like. So I think we can go straight into the engine data. And I just wanna see if the, the data on the scanner is pretty much accurate with the data on the, um, on the dash. So this is where we're at right now. Now, if you listen to the engine, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, it doesn't, It doesn't sound like it's starving for oil. It doesn't sound like it's rattling or anything like that. So uh, this indicates an oil pressure switch issue, but we still got to do some tests here. So let me look at the oil pressure, oil level switch. Okay. So here, what I'm gonna, the engine's running right now. We have uh, about a 15 PSI on the oil pressure switch, which is pretty accurate with the gauge, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is just to make sure that that oil level switch is good. I'm gonna just cycle the key. I mean turn it off and then just cycle the key back to the key on position and i'm going to leave it there for now and we're going to look at this and it says that the oil level switch the oil level engine oil level switch is okay and oil pressure is at 2.3 right now it's off you know engine's off we're not going to have any oil pressure start it up and let's see what happens there goes up to 26 25 and then it starts dropping so it hovers around what the 15 psi mark and when i rev it up it does go up so before we start checking the oil pressure switch let's go check the oil level and see where that's at i don't know how good you can see this but let me see mm, that doesn't show good on camera but there's no oil on this car let's see if that shows better How does that look? Absolutely no oil on this dipstick. That'll give us a P0521. So let me go ahead and uh, top it off and then we'll go back to the scanner and then we'll recheck uh, to see if there's any changes in the PSI. Oh, and I, I barely made it into the cross hatch. I don't know how well that shows up, but I barely made it down to the first dot. You can see three of the dots are not covered in oil. So I'm gonna put about another half a quart in there. So that'll be like three and a half quarts of oil, close to four. So let me top it off. All right, now we're in there. Now we're at the right level. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right. So I'd say close to four quarts of oil went in this. Let's go back to the scanner. Let's go check the data and see if there's any changes in there. I'm pretty sure this is gonna fix it. So if anything, I'm just gonna recommend an oil change and then we'll ship this car on its way. So we gotta check that. If there's no changes, then we can go check the oil pressure switch and the circuit and we'll see what happens. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key on. Well, um, okay, here's our pressure switch. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Let's see what we see here. 19, 20, 22, 23, 25. All right, so that's a change from earlier. Earlier we had close to 15 PSI on the oil pressure switch. I don't know why that engine oil level switch read okay. Let me go ahead and rev it up. Let's see if the pressure goes any higher. Okay, now we're on the 40 mark. That's what it's supposed to normally look like. So let's see. Well, that is better than before. This PSI definitely went up. Obviously, if there's no oil in the car, 
then oil pressure is not going to rise but um all right here you go trip out on this all right i turned the key on and the oil left is at 78 percent 168810 so it says date of last service was december 8 2018 that was less than about two months ago that was about two months ago and in two months we have this issue so this truck's definitely leaking oil or burning it so right now what i'm going to do is just top it off which i did already and uh, i checked the specs for the engine oil pressure and it says anywhere between 6 and 65 so i don't know why they gave me that big range but um i'm gonna call this one a fix on this one and this guy's gonna have to address his oil leaks and or his loss of oil i should say so that's it guys i'll see you guys on the next one this is it for this one low oil level giving you a check engine light on